All right, let's do it. Hello and welcome back to a day two of the return. Technically, I have no idea what part of my playthrough this is uh, for my let's play on YouTube and everything. So I don't even know. I'm not even going to bother right this second. But uh, yeah, we, we are back. We're playing some more Final Fantasy 14. Last night, I totally logged off and forgot to put myself in an area where I would get um, rested XP. So that sucks. Uh, we played some Divinity, so I wasn't really thinking about it. But that's all right. It is what it is. It happens, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, I did log off last night as a samurai as well. I still have that right here. But I think I'm just for the sake of continuing the storyline and um, not setting myself back too far, I kind of want to stick to Summoner. Um, so yeah, that's that's the uh, the plan. Um, so yeah, that's uh, there, there's not really anything else new right this second. Uh, I think we're just gonna get started with doing some of these quest lines and kind of go from there. Um, we'll see how far we end up getting and all that good stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, so I swapped back to Summoner for now just so I can continue the storyline. At some point, I'll probably swap. Uh, we'll see. But for now, um, I don't know. I don't want to set myself so far back where I kind of miss out on, well, not miss out on the story, but you only get so much time, basically. And I want to spend some of that time playing the story of Heaven's Sword. So that's what we're going to try and do. One thing I need to figure out though is what I want to have for dinner. Um, today, I, so I've been working contract for the last few months and I'm finally getting brought on full time. So I'm excited. Um, that'll be nice to have. Um, we're going to start looking at houses and everything soon as well. So it's everything's kind of starting to ramp up. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to spend my free time playing Final Fantasy to save some money and uh, yeah, not have to do much of anything else. So that's my goal, at least. One second, let me check something real quick. Eh. Um. One second, Chad. I'm thinking about what I'm going to have for dinner. Oh, God. I can't believe all day yesterday I completely forgot to bring out my chocobo. 
and fight with me <laughs> i kind of just did my own thing like i didn't wasn't even thinking about it uh to the northeast so around this way should be pretty close to it then i think it's over on that side are these hostile some are but not all of them it looks like Aether, Aether, where art thou, Aether? Ah, there you are. Perfect. You can pick this up. me I don't like that <laughs> oh god there's more see if I can get to like a cutscene area and then once I get to that uh, I'm gonna try to figure out what we're doing for food so that way I can sit and listen or watch <laughs> so I was looking into some of the uh, the Endwalker content today I, I really did not know what's what was coming but I'm pretty excited now um, also pretty excited for the data center travel um so long as it works as simple as being able to travel like to the other area and group up with friends and like run missions and quests then i think that will be a lot of fun uh because that that would be amazing being able to just travel over and hang out with some rebel people if we were doing like a raid or something like that and then after like come back to mine um over last night i saw or well i actually it was early this morning there was a tweet about um all these servers were full it was uh, just about around the time where i got off uh the game apparently where you couldn't create any new characters because they were all too full like that's insane Now I'm waiting for a cutscene and then I will. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool to see or hear about. Um, what is this? Does this give us an aether current? It does. Okay. We'll pick up that for now. presence through the eye 
His caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. Twould seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark how he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no? Take those. That with this person, except. Good chat uh, for now, at least. So, what do we got here? We have to slay some of those things. So over the uh, the last uh, few days or so, I saw that uh, Swotor, one of my personal favorite MMOs, is starting to get some uh, some mainstream pull. Uh, not like mainstream, mainstream. I guess you could say. I would say some streamer pull because I saw uh, Shroud was playing a little bit of Swotor, and also. Um, who else was it? Uh, Summit 1G. So, hey, that's awesome. The more people that play Swotor, I, lo I love to see that, personally. Such a, an underrated game to this day, in my opinion. Still one of my absolute favorites. Especially for, as an MMO. And even story in itself. I feel like you can solely play that entire game, like, and the classes, just on the story. And you can even do it twice, because there's so many different options after you play it the first time, which is also really cool. So, that's my just little, little plug on, uh, Sword Tour, of course. Definitely want to check it out, um, once they the update comes out this fall or Christmas. So apparently some people are not too happy with the uh, being locked out of abilities with the upcoming changes and they're waiting on uh, dev responses for the people that have jumped into the uh, public test server. I've, I've heard, I haven't really seen anything, but I've heard um, that some people are not that e excited for Star Wars The Old Republic's upcoming update. So, we'll see though. I mean, I don't really participate in public test servers because I kind of just take it for what it is when things come out. Um, only ETS I ever did was literally Star Wars Galaxies back in the day. 
because I remember being able to, if you went onto the server, you could instantly make like a level 90 or whatever it was, the max level. So <laughs> I would play on that. So that way I could just instant level and get like all the gear I wanted. That was fun back in the day. Speak with Alfnald. Here you go, Moon Eyed Moogle. Beat. Okay. Guess we need to go all the way over here again. of Ishgar. Did I pick that up? That unlocks uh, all of those though, right? Let me see what it says. Oh. Yeah, I should have. Larger scale. Okay. I don't know if I ever did this one. Okay, yeah, I did. Ooh, I guess I did a, a good amount of them. I haven't been back here in a while. The last vigil. Let's go over there. Inside? Underneath, maybe? Um, do I talk to the gatekeep? Yes, please. Ah. Speak with Sid at the airship landing. Is that in here? Nearby here? Uh, well, we're right here. Okay, it's not that far. I've been thinking about this game like all day today. It's so, ah, uh, it's so comforting to be able to like come home and know a game that you're instantly going to be playing. So that way you're not like, oh, what do I play? What do I do for the next like few hours? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Oh, it's time to get ready for bed. Oh, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, it's time to wake up and do the same thing tomorrow. <sighs> but hey, we got we got time today, so. And soon enough, I'll be working from home two days a week. So the days when I uh, before the weekend and after the weekend. So those will be nice too. It's telling them the whole story. Another wind barrier.
All right. Um, actually, wait. There might be a really close thing nearby. Foundation. Sky Steel Manufacture. Right there. This way. Oh, it's kind of found out a little weird that you can't use your mount in the main city, but it's not too bad. Kind of like at this point, it's expected, I guess. Or you accept it, technically. upon our latest and greatest feat of engineering. We call it a mana cutter. After you put down Gaius, Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on them. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. All in all, a most elegant solution. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. The design does, however, come with one small flaw. The energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind-aspected ether. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. The new Ishgardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering. Meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off, if you'll forgive the pun. <sighs> Tataru, what's happened? I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about Her Grace the Sultana. It seems you're required elsewhere. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slice through those wings. You, meanwhile, should concentrate on providing Raoban and the Sultana whatever help they need. All right. I shall do as they ask. Quest complete. Nice. A lot of people talk about red mage definitely another class i want to make at some point any red mages in the chat 
All right, we're going all the way back over here. Ah, to this area. The waking sand. Oh my God, I haven't been there in forever. Um. Isn't there like a... Um, I'm gonna look for it. Oh, we used to have like tokens or something that we could use or a, a ticket to fast travel back, but I guess I don't have that. Uh, which is fine. So let's just go over there. Horizon. And then I forget if it's faster to fly or if I usually, I, I remember taking, um, a chocobo a lot of times or a chocobro uh, i'm waiting to hear back all right let's see I need to see I forget what the um the keybind to turn off the HUD is. The end? No. I'm back. Thank you for coming. No thanks are necessary, General. I trust your recuperation continues apace. I cannot complain. Thanks to Higiri and her ministrations, I've regained much of the strength I lost during my imprisonment. Yeah. Robin is sick. I gather you have or made progress in the search for her grace. Name. Aye, some good fortune at last. A few days past, Dulala informed us that a sizable shipment of alchemical supplies had been delivered to the palace. With Papa Shan's assistance, I set out to ascertain the source and nature of the shipment. My inquiries led me to Frondale's front history. There, I learned that an order had been placed for a curious substance designed to sustain patients trapped in death-like slumber. An invention of the former head alchemist, apparently. A death-like slumber? This cannot be a coincidence. It lends some weight to Dulala's claims, aye. Her grace is likely somewhere within the palace, a bed but alive. Before making any attempt to extricate the Sultana, however, it seemed prudent to learn what manner of substance was used to induce her torpor. To that end, I made inquiries as to the whereabouts of the one most like to have administered it. The lady in waiting, Meriel. We sent for you as soon as we learned of her location. All that remains is to apprehend the woman. We shall find our cat's paw in the Silver Bazaar. But we must tread carefully. The market is not the bustling place it once was, and someone is sure to mark our coming. Should they inform the monetarists, we'll have a fight on our hands. We must be prepared for the worst, and being short an arm, I thought it wise to take another in its stead. What say you, warrior of light? Will you lend me yours? 
Then I, I pity the bastard that stands in our way. Pray Come, I shall. Friend, for <laughs> Nanamo and for Ulda. speak to you. Persons indicate she left the palace shortly after the incident. Question the residence. Where is... Oh. Oh, if we take the dock over there, that's pretty quick. Okay. Walk out here and actually hold. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. So here we go. Can we actually just fly over there? It doesn't work like that. Oh my God. Yo. Oh. Uh. Let's see. Keybinds. Where's that? House settings. Whoops. Whoops. Did I just move something? Maybe it's on their character configuration. Oops. Whoa, don't want to change that. Oh my god. Display name settings, hotbar, sharing, cross. Mm. Keep on. Oh my god, it's its own thing. Ah. Home. First and third person. Group pose. What is direct chat? FX direct chat. It makes all keyboards open when with chat with that key. Oh, okay. Um, maybe it's under here. Disable. I'm looking for like disable HUD. Toggle UI display mode. Target filters. Change window size. Log in to Zoom. Mute master volume. Scenario guide. Just ask my free company. Or disable. Roll lock turns it off, turns off the UI. There it is, perfect. Awesome. It is scroll lock by default.
Okay, so question the silver bazaar residence. Search for Meryl. Meryl, Meryl, where are you at? Come out, come out. Where you be? Maybe I should just fly up really high. Maybe we'll see the logo. Behind the buildings, on top of the buildings. Oh, it's Chocobo. Grab this. Make sure that's good. Get some food. What? Jeez. Merchant Ender. Have you seen Mariel? Not in here. This person is definitely looking for them too. Check. Aha. Found him. Found him. Found you. You are Meriel, the Sultana's former lady in waiting. One of that name. Pray excuse me. Pray excuse me. be better coming from me. Lonorito, you'd best talk fast. Oh, that's cool. You can press scroll lock in the cutscenes. You know, and it displays it. Right. Bill was no more than a facade, a means to get his grubby little hands that's on that awesome. elegant monstrosity Omega. When he learned of Nanimo's intention to abdicate, however, he was forced to amend his plans. Suddenly, assassination seemed the most promising way to further his ambitions. I am told Teleji had discovered a maid in whose veins ran the blood of House Thorn, a new, more pliable puppet to sit the throne. It would have caused an uproar, of course, but few could have contested her claim. Twas plain that Teleji's wild machinations had outgrown our ability to control them. 
So I decided to usurp his scheme and left the fool to seal his own demise. And what of Nanamo? Oh, I have no desire to harm her grace. Twould profit me little to destabilize our government. Thus did I employ young Mariel here to administer a potent sleeping potion in place of a poison. So they are just You should evil know, General, beings. that your dear friend Ilbert was fully aware of my plan. I had him lie about the assassination as a means to prime your rage against Teleji. We weren't entirely sure how you would react, but things went rather better than expected. You conniving little worm! You had your claws in the Crystal Braves before their first recruit had sworn to serve! But of course! When a new game begins, tis only prudent to have a piece on the board. Ilbert was mine. Truth be told, a significant proportion of the Braves' initial endowment was also mine. With such large sums moving about, twas a rather trifling matter to disguise my own contribution. Ah, Ilbert. I secured his services with a promise to support his cause once my authority had been solidified. I swear, the man thinks of naught but prizing Alamigo from the grasp of the Empire. Unlike you, General, the poor fellow seems quite unable to forsake the land of his forefathers. Mayhap, that's why he called you a traitor to your people and a disgrace to your homeland, amongst other things. What was it he always compared you to? Uh, oh, yes, an overgrown lapdog begging for scraps at the Sultana's table. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Alas, Ilbert's entertaining little outbursts eventually gave way to wearisome tirades, and the zealous brute became rather unruly. I had no wish to see you executed, you understand, but he would not take no for an answer. Rest assured, his employment with me has long since ended. Which brings us neatly to the present. What say you, General? Both you and the Sultana are alive. We have one corpse and one fugitive. And preparations have been made to restore your good name. Shall we cry quits and start again with a blank ledger? Hmm? The hells we will! Do you honestly expect me to forgive and forget? After all you've done, you're guilty of high treason! Stay your blade, Master Alden. You yourself are not innocent. Or have you forgotten your own crime in executing Teleji Adeleji without trial? Though you acted out of loyalty to the Sultana, such deeds are in violation of both the word and spirit of the law. If you would, Lord Lollarito? This potion will wake the Sultana from her slumber. Consider it a gesture of conciliation. You will find her grace resting comfortably within her private chambers. Should you doubt my word, I shall willingly accompany you to the palace as your hostage.
I like not your motives, Lollarito. But you saved the Sultana's life, and for that, you have my gratitude. Rauban Aldin, you are hereby reinstated as General of the Immortal Flames. The citizens of Uldar shall once more be united under Nanamo Ulnamo, and together we shall usher in a new age of prosperity. go to the royal promenade which is right by the chamber of rule Okay, uh, where is the closest thing? Um, I think down here? Well, might be faster just to run inside, I guess. But am I going the right way? Is back here there? Isn't this a samurai area? Yeah, literally. <laughs> I was right here yesterday. see one right here all right i'm just gonna go to the adventurers guild <laughs> so i just i just keep on running around okay and then we're going into chamber of rule right there Cannot wait for this food tonight. Oh my god. I'm getting a steak 
and some coconut shrimp and a sweet potato a loaded sweet potato and some broccoli sounds so good literally I'm so excited I was having the longest dream. Tis time to wake up, your grace. Another day begins in Thunalan, and the sun blazes bright upon the sands. Her grace is awoken. The palace physician assures me she is none the worse for her slumber. I believe her grace will soon resume her plans to place the government of Uldar into the hands of its citizens. Whatever path she chooses to take, I shall walk it with her. And we shall tread slowly, lest the nation be unsettled in our wake. Her Grace's compassion is a shining beacon to us all. But what our city truly thrives upon is competition. Tis in the struggle against our rivals that opportunities are seized and fortunes made. And with the Empire on the offensive once more, now would hardly seem the time to turn our system of government upon its head. Are you privy to new intelligence, my lord? I would hardly call it new. Remind me, what was the name of that enormous Imperial warship which met its end in Mordona? Oh, wait, I have it. The Agrius. Yes, well, twould appear that the Galeans have been hard at work on another such vessel. How close are they to completing this ship? Is it operational? Its maiden flight was a success, I hear. I should imagine Emperor Varys is eager to see how it performs in battle. My lords and lady, I move that it is time to repair the damage caused by Telegi Adelegi and prepare our great nation to repel the Empire once more.
Tis well that the Sultana has awoken. The Syndicate yet needs to put its house in order, but twould seem the worst of the confusion has passed. Uldar has taken control of its future, and I must do the same. I have decided to disband the Crystal Braves. <laughs> Among the recruits, there were those who supported our Order's goals and convictions with all sincerity. Tis my hope that these loyal men and women will choose to remain our allies in the battles to come. As for those Look who sided face. with the traitor, <laughs> Ilbird, they shall be hunted down and held to account for their crimes. It is my earnest hope that they will surrender themselves peaceably when the time comes, though I think it unlikely. Ah, my all-conquering crystal braves. The model army meant to pave the way for a single unified grand company of Eorzea. That so high an ideal should be brought so low. I need not tell you how deeply the betrayal stung me. Yet I see now that it was mine own naivety and pride which allowed the Braves to fall prey to corruption. As ever, it is to your own shining example that I turn for inspiration. Like you, I mean to stand firm in no. the face of hardship and give mine all for the cause. Let us resume the search for our missing comrades. That we might come together to shine the light of dawn across the realm once more. The role of Crystal Brave Commander suited me ill, and I shall play it no longer. Henceforth, I shall be no more or less than Alfino, proud member of the Scions. There it is. All right, let's uh Oh, that's how you see it. <laughs> I can't do it. Why does it have to be shift tab that opens up this? <laughs> what? to the rising stones time for it to load but it's taking a long time to load hi
Hi. I kind of do want to make an aura. Aura at some point. If I ever make another character. Maybe. <laughs> I think they would be fun. to this area please so right now we're still doing these uh missions and they're level 55 but we're level 57 so keeping uh staying a little over leveled which is nice uh as we're traveling i'm gonna run the i'm gonna actually i'm gonna wait for a second so I need to get to the bathroom soon. So once we have like our next combat area, then I'll I'll take like a 30 second break or so. Do they give us right here? Oh, machinist. Oh, that's how you unlock that. Where's this at? Speak with Einstein. Wait, where? It's showing it as, as as if it's right here. Oh, there it is. The last vigil. Yeah. In the manor. Yara, why are you crying? Estenine at Einstein. <laughs> I don't know why. Why I said Einstein. Alright, Forgotten Knight. Come on, go, go. I keep left clicking when it's right click, right click. Forgotten Knight. Holy Sea of Ishgard. This area is really cool. I've I've really enjoyed my time in Ishgard. For the little little that I have. Bum, 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 bum. Proceed to the Lord seat. Heaven sword. All Welcome. stands ready, Lord Commander. 
Lord Commander. Ah, the moment has come then. Pray, excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. The area is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parlay with the dragons. Though our negotiations yielded little, our expedition with Lady Isar taught us much. You took an unimaginable risk. I could scarce believe the tale Estinian told. Aye. Tis true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Reisvelga. A conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. In this instance, the journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort, Tiamun, and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Aye, that they would. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Tis but a pity they won't be enough. <laughs> Oops. Thus, you believe an assault upon the area represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Astinian? I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. Victory will be hard won, even so. And I shall be glad indeed to have the Warrior of Light at my side. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Lord Commander, no! How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. Pray leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons, Sir Knight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no less vital. Should we fail and Nidhogg slip through our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy See Zealots? There are others. Who but you has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? I do not, and neither does the Warrior of Light. That is why it is our place to fight, and yours to remain here, Lord Commander. What? You too, Master Alfino. By the fury. You have shown some promise, but this adversary is far beyond your skills. Your candor is appreciated, Sir Dragoon. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Well, my friend. Would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claimed the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we too. Okay. Lots of traveling back and forth right now. <laughs> For cutscenes.
done like very little combat tonight so far uh i think Where is this at? Sky Steel. It's over there. Okay, one second. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real. Okay, chat. I'm back. a new uh a new final fantasy playlist use the duty finder to enter airy okay Somebody's level three. How many people do we have on right now? 48. Nice. <laughs> That's why mine went so fast. I I put it in an application yesterday and, and then instantly pop. Got it like an invite like two seconds later. Private. Another world. Wow, a lot of a lot of people are on another world.
fait. Every time I hear some, I don't know, they're talking about spiders now all of a sudden in chat. <laughs> Every time I hear a recluse though, I literally think of, um, uh, city of villains every single time. About halfway through. Apparently, they're removing uh, belts in the upcoming uh, update. It's pretty interesting. Such a. Uh, I mean, I I get it though. I feel like I'm gonna need more food. Maybe we can go to the golden. Hold on. That center map on player icon. Uh, where is the golden place? I heard that they have. Central Shroud. Ha. Trying to open up the map and go there. Oh, there it goes. While we wait, we might as well go here. You know what's crazy? Technically, if you wear this thing that I'm wearing, uh, the, the earrings that gives you the 30% XP bonus and you do a mission with a, um, just thinking of this right now, if you do a mission with the, uh, a mentor, mentor, that's literally 50% 50, 50 XP. That's actually kind of crazy. Um, where's the person that sells all the, um, I know there's somebody that sells like food and stuff.
sure there's a shop over here trader trader it's like a person in a black suit i'm pretty sure ah right here oh my god <laughs> oh no wait, wait wait go back go back yes commence Whew. they have apparently good food yeah it was picked up nice i have enough food for now so once we get out of here i can grab um that stuff Dairy Dravania.
Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm only gonna... I was gonna pop another one of these for food and stuff, but I think we're good for right now. Because I'm only... I'm gonna be eating soon anyways. IRL. <laughs> so I don't want to overuse it. See, what's the what's the plan? Oh. Hello? I think they disconnected. Person is tiny. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> Same. I'm on my way. Oh no. Wisdom, windstorm. Function, settings, leave. Oh, there we go. Yes. Uh, whoever's the lead can now add party members, I think. Oh, nice. Every time we go into a, uh, one of these, I keep thinking about like I got kicked from like my uh, free company because there's no thing next to my name.
Woof, 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 woof. Almost got it. The terrible dragon appears before you.
Hopefully we can finish this soon. parts left. Shouldn't have used that. I uh, literally could have just did it a second ago. The one time my left hand off a of WASD they start attacking like that <laughs> parts and I can eat dinner Loud chaser, that's funny.
Yeah. Yeah, my thing's like literally about to be over. Yeah, for being free, free, uh, cop copyright free music, the stuff, and some of these songs are pretty good. And all the albums. Final boss. Nidhog, you're going down. Nidhog. I will fear something. Like we are.
here and it smells so good, but I'm trying to finish this. We're literally about to be done. Done, I am prepared. Oh, sh oh god. <laughs> I just hit the box. Oh no, don't tell me it's gonna take me all the way back there. Oh, okay. Whew. Uh, which one is that one? Stay healed. Leave duty. All right, chat. Uh, I need to go eat. So. I'm going to put it on my BRB screen in just a second here. And then, yeah. Waiting on this to finally load. Can we pause? You gifted my people a thousand years of suffering. Now I gift you an eternity in darkness.
They are ours, Lord Eldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. Aye. The worm lies broken and my father is avenged. With the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him, Nidhogg shall not linger long in this world. But behold the terrible price we have paid. My sire is dead. So many brother knights slain. We traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins. And still we are forced to make such sacrifice. But not in vain, my lord. Trace Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. With Nidhogg's eyes in your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard, ascend the throne, and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people? Nay, my friend. I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish, but a hell's bound hunter of dragons. But Lord Haldreth, what then shall become of the royal line? Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to in his hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? I thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertril, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown. Fare thee well, my brother knights, my loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. What cruel jest has fate played upon us? Have we seized this desperate victory only to lose a king? We can but act as our lord has bid. We few who remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people. Not I. My oath was to Lord Haldrath and he alone. If he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Will you abandon us too, sir? I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal and take up an honest trade. Mayhap I shall serve ale instead of sharpened steel. Hylanat, Durandere, and Zemail. But four houses to rule all of Ishgard. And what of the throne? 
We keep it empty. Until the day a king rises once more, we must assume the role of stewards. We shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making, and let the truth of this dark day die here, upon the battlefield. What ails you, friend? Are you wounded? You have borne witness to history. To the culmination of the first battle with Nidhogg. The legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon. In the midst of their journey, they came to a wide chasm, where they were set upon by a great worm, Nidhogg. A furious battle then ensued, with Thordon leading the van. Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon, fought on undaunted. And with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. Thus, did this eldritch orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard, lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to bear the title of Azure Dragoon. A rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt, save on one point. If Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? Beneath every answer we unearth, Another question lies buried. It was a fierce battle, but one I knew we would win. Your fame is well-deserved, warrior of light. Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph. But we must first have words with Hreisvelger. There are parts of this tale that the Worm has kept from us, and I would know wherefore.
<sighs> All right, chat. I am back. That looks sick. What the heck? Huh. But hello. I am back. That was a very long cutscene. I was literally watching it as I was eating dinner. <laughs> because of how long it actually was. Uh, we're going to play for about 20 minutes or so. So we'll see how far we can get for the rest of uh, the night stream. And then we'll probably chill. So. Uh, where is that? That's all the way over there. I kind of want to go do this. So that way we have our new ability is unlocked. We just hit 58. So let's go try to do that. Here we go. These people, wait, I'm just reading over a chat. The area is much better if you're fighting. Remember, this is a novice network. Okay. Right here, dancing wolf. Speak with them in Gradania. New Gradania. Loading times are taking their good old time tonight. Maybe it's just because there's a lot of people on or something. For some food on. Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, I completely forgot. I forgot to go to the, um, the thing over at, uh, the golden area to buy more food because apparently they have good food there the golden saucer i was about to buy some but completely forgot to and now my doggo is barking sick should see see what um I should see what what side or hard drive this thing is on.
lot of words. <laughs> Speak with the dancing wolf at the Hall of Flames. It's weird, it has to be lowercase. Right here, just waiting on the load. Is there maybe I should check like my settings graphics? Real time reflection. I desktop. Maximum real time reflections. Let's do high glare map resolution high shadow. That's fine. Let's do standard. How about display? Is this at um the uh, hustling strip i think speak with the elite flyer rachel i'm gonna get you an outfit like this Yeah. Have you seen the beer po poster? You can be my anime poster and then I'll do one for like for you uh you like this. I'll buy red armor like that. Or like this. There we go. That's actually really cool. Wow, look at this world. Look, there's a little wolf. She's not interested. The little chicken person. It's actually kind of cool, like, walking around at first person in this game. Just enjoying their life. Watching the dancers. The music back on. Brother! Look at it! Look at him hop! Look at it! I'm, I'm so like amazed right now just like walking in first person I don't know why that guy looks pretty fly pretty fly for a white guy that's a machinist weapon I think 
That looks pretty cool too. It's a cool outfit. Why does that actually look so cool? Me too. Me too. Let's turn it back on. There we go. Uh, okay. What was I about to do? Oh, yeah. The uh, hustling strip, I think. The airship landing yeah yes you're above the maximum allowed it will be synced level 60. does more damage on a single target if I remember correctly
wait awaken the power of the trance does that mean this I feel so full right now, oh my god. My food was so good. Oh. Attack! This thing! Okay, I see. So then you go and hit these. Next, Gorgon Gas is finding another pocket of Aether. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Go, go, go. down Help. again how many times This fester ability is pretty powerful a lot of times. Shoot. Did we lose them if we don't get them all?
right here. One more, the center one. Ready, go! soon one soon. yeah I feel like I hear that laugh so often. <laughs> nice. Beat. Quest complete. Da -da 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 -da.
the trance gauge indicates the time remaining for a dredwin friend trance the action energy drain fills the aether flow gauge which is required to perform certain actions oh i see it now now it's right up there okay Okay, um, let me see what are we about to do here. Sag, that's funny. Somebody's thing is Sag. Their name is Hawaiian Punch. That's great. Hawaiian Punch and Sag. <laughs> All right, so chat, we are going to hop off very, very shortly here. But before we do that, one thing I would like to do is thank you. For hanging out but also check this guide so let me see what the new opener is for summoner leveling up to now we are 58 so i'm gonna change a few things around here like 58 plus gonna be assault one tridaster than the trance so let's go like this stores mp Throw this down there. This down there. That so says assault one. Then into Tridaster, which is that. Into the trance ability. Resets Tridaster. Then two. So now we're starting to use a lot more of these abilities. Salt two. Then energy drain. Then cast ruin three. Three into fester. Into and kindle. Into ruin, into fester, into ruin. Fifty-eight plus AOE example. Your pain flare, then Bane. Where's Bane? Bless you. Bane is right here. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, do the mat. Okay. I don't want to throw this in right here. So that way we're always spreading it. <laughs> We're always spreading the ability. And then that should be good right there. An outburst is used for. Okay, yeah, so that way we have all those front loaded and stuff. Resurrection. Boom. This is what we are currently following as well. Or what I am following at this moment. So I just followed this, this 58 opener. So we have assault into Tridaster into Dreadrim Trance, then assault two energy drain, 
then three, then Fester and Kindle three, Fester three. And then for AoE, uh, that's at level 60, Death Flare. Okay, I see. 50 to 60. Keep that and that on at all times. Use Tridaster instead of manual damage over times when available. Keep energy drain that. Energy siphon. Use that. Cast that when you have nothing else to do. And boom. Okay, cool. And then it just keeps going. <laughs> so that's uh that's the little guy that I'm currently following, and it's it's been working out pretty good so far. So I enjoy it. But for now, chat, that is going to be it for today. Tomorrow, we will pick up where we're currently at and uh, keep going. So, as always, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for chilling. Uh, follow on Twitch if you want to see more uh, of this or any other games that I'm currently playing. Uh, same thing with YouTube, all my previous um, 